Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise, and welcome back to From the Depths, the beta test, version 2.8.2.1. As of recording, don't be too surprised if the numbers have gone up by the time you get back to your PC and see for yourself. So, uh, the beta test has been updated again uh, for From the Depths. And there's some interesting new things in it, so uh, as per usual for From the Devs uh, videos, I'm essentially going to be reading out the patch notes and uh, making some acute observations of my own. We might, I don't know, we might be doing other stuff uh, in the interim. And uh, hooray, this is the second video I'm recording where I'm using OBS and hopefully nothing goes wrong. It was being a little bit weird earlier. So, uh, what what's happening here? What are we looking at first? Well, start off with... Uh, there's new blocks. Uh, there are new APS uh, gauge connectors. So, uh, right over here, we have the old one. We have uh, the T piece, the uh, three way APS gauge snake. So, uh, gauge increases go on one side, firing piece goes on the other. And um, we've got new variants of this. Finally, we've got the two way one, uh, which looks uh, something like this. It only attaches to two things. And. I can see myself using this one uh, quite a lot. It's going to be quite handy for uh, even more wacky Tetris, which means I'm going to need to make another APS Tetris tutorial. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to it. Um, and then there's some extra ones. So we've got uh, the three, the original one. Now we've got the two. We've also got the four, which attaches on many, many sides. So if we move this fella over here, and we can stick the firing piece over here, and we can have gauges go in all kinds of funky directions. I did not set this up, apparently. Right. Interesting. Which one do you want? For me, this one might be bugged. That's interesting. Interesting. It's supposed to connect on that side. Apparently it does not. Uh, beta is beta, I believe. Yep. Beta is definitely beta. Alright, well that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to connect on four sides. Yeah, well, apparently it doesn't yet. And then we've got this five-sided thing. And um, I was doing some experimenting a little bit earlier. And uh, I already am in love with this one. Uh, simply because it's going to make uh, making a gauge snake uh, quite a bit easier. And so immediately you can see that you can make uh, a gauge snake, one, two, three, four, and maybe, oh, I don't know, you can, uh, you can just stick a corner up here and then do something like this. And you can run off in multiple directions and it's all grand. So uh, the APS game, just with the addition of these uh, uh, three new blocks, is suddenly going to get... Uh, a lot more interesting. And also uh, on the uh, APS front is uh, I believe that it issues a warning if there are insufficient inputs uh, to keep up a sustained rate of fire. So let's see if it does that. This is something I should have uh, checked beforehand, but I didn't. So well done me. Let's go here. Let's just do that. EMP heads up fun. Is there a warning? Uh, not controlled by AI, alright. Insufficient intakes, alright. But if you do this? Warning? No warning. Um, for sustained fire, warrant a warning. What if I do... The, whoops. What if I do this? Nope. Well, I'm assured by the... Oh! Oh, it's on the loader! Needs one intake for sustained fire, has zero. Alright, cool. So if we do that... And... Problem solved. And if we do this... Warning? Yeah, it needs two. Alright. Cool. Interesting. Alright, that's very handy, actually. It means you can... Yeah, 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 I like it. I like that a lot. That's, we found it. Alright, so, also we made the T-splitter uh, connector connect on all sides. Let's quickly check what that means. So if we do this now, so if we, before, 
this is the only way to connect it. How about now? Yep, still connects. Alright, so beforehand, it was only the um, middle part of that T thing that could actually connect to the firing piece and had to be a pointing in that direction, even if it was away from it. Uh, now you can apparently do whatever the hell you want with it. Which is handy, because it means you can have a proper uh, kind of T-shape right at the top. Because beforehand, if you wanted to uh, extend gauges or anything like above, uh, like in a turret cap for instance, you'd have to go one block higher. Uh, now, you can do this, which is very handy. I'm looking forward to that being in stable. And, um, yeah, so that's... It's not all the APS stuff. I believe that there are fixes. I have a few notes, as you could probably hear. Love the sound of my notes. Uh, yeah. Kind of. Alright. So, uh, moving on to other things. So, let us spawn in. Let's destroy this. And let's spawn in a thing. And let's look at the AI. Because apparently, uh, propulsion... Uh, propulsion... A balance has been removed. So additional... And yep, there's no more propulsion balancing, and good riddance, I say. Uh, that's one thing... Uh, one less thing for me to cover in uh, my ongoing AI tutorials, which have been on a bit of a hiatus, which is not my fault, except it is. But yeah, propulsion balancing was basically completely useless, and I was at a loss at what to say about it, apart from the fact that it was completely useless. Like, even a really, really uh, badly set up PID uh, could do a better job with it. And it also had lots of unintentional side effects. Uh, like, it didn't know what to do with uh, thrusters that were on spin blocks, for instance. So, yeah, it's like, um, uh, that's a thing. And, um, let's see here. What's another thing we can uh, talk about? Well,. There's a major thing, which is good news for those of you who have really good uh, PCs. Um, you'll notice that there's no... Um, that there's no measure here about uh, block limits. So, uh, component count limits have been removed for everything. So you can now make things absolutely gigantic. Um, uh, good luck with that. Uh, my PC is 10 years old and wouldn't be able to handle a 10,000 component APS, for instance, but all the more power to you if you decide to do that. Right. Now I'm going to waffle on for a little bit about uh, campaign stuff, so while I do that, we're just going to uh, spawn in something fun to shoot at each other uh, just uh, while we're here. So here we have Marauder, and I'm going to spawn in something with miniguns, uh, because miniguns are hilarious and cool. Uh, ships, uh, not the do, do, do mute. What have I not played with here? Do you still work actually? Receiving. Whoops. Okay, you do kind of work. Right, so now we've got our action uh, going on. How's the Marauder doing? Almost doing fine. Hopefully we shouldn't uh, get annihilated. Alright, so the campaign has uh, got a few changes. And one of them is, and I can show this right here, is that uh, I, I just spawned in two things to make this interesting to watch. Oh well. Uh, durability estimates are now also used for the difficulty assignment of faction craft. The difficulty has been shuffled a bit, so... Let's see here, what's it a good example? So, uh, those of you... Uh, some of you might remember that the Great White uh, used to be uh, in the expert section of the uh, Steel Striders, and uh, I believe the Tiger Shark was in the Godly section? I'm not sure. I don't remember that very well. But now it's in the Godly because it's a big thing and it takes a lot of Daka to kill. So, um, we're just gonna... Oh, goodness. Oh goodness me, oh god, it's a fat thing. So yeah, this guy is now um, a, a godly and- Oh, hello. Hello. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just got distracted. Uh, the turrets look slightly different. Am I crazy? Did I turn my phone off properly? I did not. I did not. I got a Discord message. Um... Uh, Ninjas made a drunk tank. Great! 
Uh, talk to you later, Ninja. Alright, so... Yeah, I think the turrets are slightly different. Uh, what have they done in here? I do like what they've done uh, with the uh, bearing rangefinder on top. Uh, so anyway, uh, so um, durability is now a, a factor considered by uh, craft. Are we going to get horribly shot at? Let's see how often the Great White can hit us. With God mode, doesn't matter. Uh, not very often by the looks of it. We... Alright, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, so in NPC factions are also more aggressive towards the player on a higher difficulty, so oh my god, that's a lot of cram shells. That all missed. And... Right, so you up the difficulty, NPCs are will come and kill you uh, with more enthusiasm. NPC factions should no longer completely wipe each other out, which means no matter what, you'll still get to fight every faction, which is hilarious and fun. Um... There's also been a rework with how the strategic, uh, with how the strategic AI decides which territory to capture, to kind of make it more intelligent. Oh, the great one actually hit us. That's page one of billions. All right, and also rough estimates of design durability is now used by the strategic AI for combat-related assignments. So I'm not entirely sure what that means. Maybe it uh, considers more durable designs. Uh, to be better for defending uh, tile, perhaps? Actually, while we're here, if I do this, is there a separate thing? I think maybe the uh, durability estimate is based off the percentage armor cost, which means that uh, something that has a large percentage armor cost will be more durable? I don't know. I do not know. I do not know. In any case, oh, oh goodness, crams, lots of crams. All right, so what's next? Okay, custom jets, uh, which I will represent uh, by just looking at them right here. So, ooh, added warning that uh, shows what the oh, added warning that shows output reduction when the engine is partially or fully submerged. So, if for example, what. Oh, this is new. Redirects thrust from the jet engine to generate power or to charge batteries with energy. Interesting. Uh, when was this added? Probably recently. Ducted air inside. Oh, my giddy aunt Fanny. It, it doesn't have to be at the front, doesn't need clearance. Oh, hello, that's interesting. Uh, th these weren't in the patch notes. Wait, so you can... Wait a minute. This is a whole new kettle of fish. This is... You can use custom jets essentially as a fuel engine. Like a horribly inefficient one, perhaps. So jet controller. Thrust reserve for generator. Maximum generator power. power priority. Interesting. Interesting. On a free room behind. All right. Uh, flooded and disabled. All right, so that's the new thing. That's uh, it's added the warning. Uh, let's see, jet controller. If I tuck this under here, it uh, yep, flooded and disabled. Gotcha. All right, that's nice. Uh, da -da -da. Generator power thrust up from 0 0.05 to 0 0.052. So it's a 0 0.002 uh, increase, I guess. I. Am I stupid? Was this jet generator thing, like, added before, and I just missed it in the patch notes? Because this is the kind of thing that, uh, will probably need to be experimented on, and, like, you know, kind of, like, this This requires science. I'm the free room behind what are you calling it? What do you mean, not on a free room behind? Hello? Flooded and disabled, we're above the water. Okay, that's something I'll figure out in my own time. Uh, damage has been changed slightly. A heat based damage up from 20% of a frag warhead's damage. No mention of what angle uh, the frag warhead is. Uh, up from 20% um, of a frag warhead's damage uh, for a 1 maximum special factor HE warhead to 30%. So. I guess you could interpret that as um, heat fragments do 10% more damage than they used to, uh, which heat is getting a buff, 
I suppose. Uh, lasers. Range of the short range laser combiner up from 300 meters to 500 meters. And accuracy at max range is the same, which basically means that um, uh, the, like, the kind of former maximum range and now mid range is more accurate. And um, the damage multiplier at max range down from times 2 to 1.5. So to, ex to explain that, uh, let's go here, let's go short range. Laser combiner, you go here, you'll see uh, focus distance 200, damage multiplier is times 3.375, AP multiplier times blah blah blah, AP multiplier doesn't, oh wait, uh, 0.5, oh interesting, interesting, these things have less AP, alright, so, uh, da, da, da. focus distance 100, damage multiplier times 4, AP multiplier times 0.5, inaccuracy 2 degrees, you can jack that up to the former max, which was 300. Damage multiplier times 2.75. AP multiplier times 0 0.625. So, uh, more AP. Uh, inaccuracy, uh, 1.2, 1.5 degrees. What was it before? Okay. 300 and all the way to 500. Damage multiplier, 1.5. So, only 50% more damage than a regular laser combiner. AP multiplier times 0 0.75, so probably like least terrible AP out of all these instances. Inaccuracy, uh, 1 degree. Why you would set it to anything below 500 meters, never mind the decreasing damage, I'm not entirely sure. But then again, I am not a laser genius. I am many things, a laser genius is not one of them. Uh, okay, so that's that. And propulsion. Uh, power jets, props and ions now gradually spool down when they get a regressed for zero output. Uh, change was gradual in all other cases before. So if we do this... Oh, this thing doesn't have props. Alright, let's spawn in something that has uh, propellers. Uh, hello, the Stubak. Where did you go? I hate it when that happens. Alright, so I believe you have propellers. Yes, you do. So if you enter god mode, and if I have you shooting at the rapier instance. I did not change the cram waters on these things. Uh, this might be a tremendous failure. Alright, so we're here. And if we turn that off, so it gradually slows down and then stops. It's not an immediate stop. And if I do this, they gradually spin, spin up again. That's nice. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, power propellers do not instantly stop when uh, getting above water. They gradually slow down until they stop. Alright, so if we do this, for instance, do that, and yep, they gradually slow down. It's not instant, and when you put them back in the water, they start spinning, and away they go. I'm not sure why this change was made, but I kind of like it for seemingly no reason. God damn, border wise. Like, this is embarrassing. Uh, this was the days before I managed to remember that, um, like, uh, one meter metal slopes uh, have more drag than these things. Ye uh, freaking Christmas. Alright. Well. Actually, have any of those mortars managed to uh, hit the target yet? Take that as a no. Alright, so uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so that's propulsion and that's page two done. Aha! Shields! Speaking of shields, that's on this core rapier right now. Are there shells coming in? Not really. This is 100% that one simple weapon that's doing all the work. Let's look at these shells. Alright, I think these shells are going into orbit and that's bad. Or well, they're going to detonate prematurely. Uh, now I'm watching my notes and these shells at the same time. We... We missed. Alright. Uh, shields have been changed. So, if we go here and if we plonk a shield down... Do, 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 do. Defense. Planar shield projector. It's been renamed as well. Naughty, naughty. Um, uh, 
This has not been in the patch notes. All right, so should be larger than 1.1. So do, 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 three and three. All right. Effect strength one. I don't mind that. Let's do this. For some reason, um, making it bigger, uh, like makes it stronger for some reason. At least when you do this. So uh, did that actually just deflect something? That's hilarious. All right, so. Reflect and laser and are you paying attention this if this in nothing else This is one of the most important bits of this video reflect and laser scatter modes on shield projectors have been merged so Shields have exactly one mode now. I remember the old um, What was it? Disruption shields? No, I can't, can't remember so these things both uh, reduce laser AP and have a chance to reflect uh, projectiles. So we look here, maximum power is about 15, so this actually does basically nothing. Uh, current strength is 1, max strength regeneration is 0 0.16 per second. Projectile reflects minimum chance is 6.2%, which is terrible. Uh, very weak shield. Uh, projectile reflects max chance is 11.2%. Smoke strength equivalent, 1. And laser AP reduced to 64.6%. So, uh, shields now have kind of a brand new niche in that they're mostly still good uh, against lasers, but they also have a kind of a secondary role uh, to stop um, uh, projectiles, or shells specifically. So yeah, that's interesting. So if we jack this up a little bit, 15 is basically nothing. Let's see what 5 does. Alright, 5 uses a lot. Alright, so if we go up to 5, let's see, maximum power 390, construct 5, max strength regeneration uh, 0 0.79 second, projectile reflect minimum chance 14.6, projectile reflect max chance 26.2, again that's terrible, smoke strength 500, laser AP reduced to 37.8%. Alright, so shields are still very much optional so if you don't want to use them you don't have to like you really really uh, do not have to uh, because they're still like i do not like these numbers like i do not like at all uh, how the shield mechanics work for um uh, for how they interact with shells and projectiles at this point i don't think there's gonna be any kind of good solution until the game is released and someone with uh, more spare time than the devs mods something in. But yeah, so... The, the laser defenses are great. Oh, strength 5. 390 power to reduce a laser AP uh, to about less than 40%. That's quite handy. And if we drop the range a little bit. And if we rotate this so we're not blinded. Uh, going up to strength 10 is... um. Well, yeah, actually, like, having a short-range shield is actually great for conserving power. Alright, so maximum power is 312, 10, 0 point, blah, blah, blah. Protector reflect min chance is 25%. Uh, Protector reflects max chance is 45%. So, this uh, segues nicely uh, into the next patch note. The reflect mode base ricochet chance is up from 20% to 25% at minimum angle. And um, from 40% to 45% of max damage. So it's basically a 5% bonus, which still sucks as far as I'm concerned. Like, I'm not sure what percentage would be good for a strength 10 shield, but it's certainly not this. Like, shields still... Like, never mind the actual numbers and, like, all the maths and the probability. They feel useless. Unless you're shooting at an enemy craft which has shields. In which case, they feel slightly less useless. Like, I don't know. It's emotive, I suppose. But yeah, laser AP reduced to 30% and smoke transfer equivalent 1,000. So, I think if I ever use shields again, which isn't likely, I'll probably just stick with strength 5 shields. Because, like, yeah, 30... The difference between 30% uh, AP and 37% is, like, it's really not big enough for me to bother and like I give this is a bonus the projectile reflection is a bonus and like you just got to see it that way I suppose this video is going to be incredibly long actually uh, right so uh, ring shields have also been modified ring shield armor bonus increased by 50% so let's quickly fart out a ring shield let's uh let's um see if I remember how to do this No, oh wait, no. Crap. 
Yeah, all right. Okay. So, this area is zero. I do not remember how to do this. Generator pipe outlet on its upward surface. Somebody uh, left this uh, prefab wrong. 70 50 power, receiving 100% of it. Uh, forwards, backwards, right, left, total modified area is 54 meters cubed, squared. Uh, plus 4.9 armor oh glass. So. Probably still wouldn't use these things much either, to be perfectly honest with you. Plus 4.9. Uh, yeah, shields still aren't great, but they're slightly better than before, to be perfectly honest. I remember when ring shields uh, were first uh, added, I was quite enthusiastic about them. And then, uh, like, funny thing, they actually make better weapons than defenses. Like, there's, um... There's the odd, like, the odd suggestion I've had, like, have you tried making weapons... A kind of like improvised particle cannon uh, with ring shields and the answer is no but I have seen it done and it is hilarious all right so that's uh, that really and uh, shield protector UI has been updated we've all seen that all right steam engines are getting some advanced surgery at the moment so uh, let's see here cost of steam pistons turbines gearboxes and generators multiplied by 60 I'm not sure that's correct. Pistons, turbines, gearboxes. So that's a that's a piston by sixty. Well, they do look more expensive. Uh, so yeah, they're more expensive for some reason. Like to be perfectly honest, I'm still not thrilled about steam either. Still don't see much reason to use it. All right. And then I'm going to read out some stuff, and there's some formula, so break, brace yourselves. Those of you who know Steam, uh, pay close attention, because you're going to have to explain it to me later. Um, heat dissipation rate of boiler decreased from this equation. That's on screen right now. Future me, put it on screen now. Uh, reduced from blah 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 to blah blah blah. Hopefully that makes sense to somebody. Uh, heat of material decreased from 3,000 kilojoules to 1,500 kilojoules. Not sure what that means. Max power of small gearboxes increased from uh, 3,000 to 6,000. That I understand it means small gear, small steam engines can be more strong. Piston base efficiency decreased from 0 0.9 to 0 0.75, which is bad, I believe, because that means more materials burnt for less power. Piston cylinder length is now 1.1 for small, 2.5 for medium, and 3.5 for large. Piston cylinder length. What? What? What's? What? Am I stupid? What's a cylinder? Cylinder? Where's a cylinder? What's a cylinder? Don't you mean a boiler? Okay then. Right then, I didn't understand that one bit. Okay, piston efficiency changed uh, from one equation, which is going up screen now, uh, to this uh, different equation, which is now, which thank you whoever wrote the patch notes for uh, putting in this note uh, to uh, make it obvious uh, for idiots like me. It means better throughput or power per volume and efficiency, uh, power per materials, for naive steam engine designs. And that's what it says here, it's naive, uh, spelt wrong. So presumably it's easier to make a decent steam engine now? I wouldn't know, I didn't really know how to make a decent one to begin with. Uh, I am the wrong person to talk about steam engine changes. All right, so, uh, reduce the intensity of the steam crankshaft noise. That I do understand, because that was obnoxious as balls, all right. Alright, so if we go here, what the f what? Not that, okay. Uh, this. That's not correct either. Um, all, the pr all the prefabs for this are not actually for steam engines, they're for electric steam engines. That's frustrating. Well, dang it. Gosh, dingle dang. Whoa, gosh, dingle dang. Gosh, dingle dang, fuzzy wuzzy dingle dang. Alright. 
uh, we can't test this, uh, the uh, piston noise. I guess. Well, I can, but I don't feel like it. Alright, so... But yeah, it's not as obnoxiously loud. Reduced turbine flow virtual volume to this other equation, which I have written down really horribly, so it's probably just as well that future me is going to put them on screen. Why does this thing meaning? Um... Reduce turbine flow, virtual volume to insert equation here, area of turbine. I don't know what that means either. Why am I the one reading out these? I'm honestly asking. All right, that's that page done. All right, steam engines continued. Uh, side shell thickness of turbine, piston, and boiler increased from five millimeters to one centimeters. What? Side shell? Of turbine, piston, and boiler. Is that a visual change? Is that like... Is it? Turbine... I don't know... That might be a mesh change, I'm not sure. Uh, steam components are now updated uh, in a fixed order to avoid inconsistencies caused by the order of placement. Right, the order is now boiler, piston, turbine, Valve, uh, jet pipe propeller, crankshaft gearbox, transmission generator. I don't know what that means either. That doesn't seem to reflect what I'm looking at right here. Am I stupid? Ladies and gentlemen, I believe I'm stupid. Steam makes me feel stupid. That's why I don't use it. All right, okay. Here, all right, here's something I do understand. Steam jet uh, power... Uh, well, no, steam jet max speed changed from 200 meters per second to 150 meters per second. So that's been a slight nerf. Uh, steam jet power limited to 10,000 and thrust limited to 50,000. Okay, so again, a little bit of a nerf. Apparently these things were too good. I actually have not used these things in a functional craft once ever since they were introduced. Possibly because I keep forgetting that steam exists. What is the thing I was looking at? Alright, so steam jet thrust uh, per power changed to 3.5, and for comparison, it is um, 15 for ion, 25 for jet, and 40 for props, so they are actually less efficient than every other thing. Steam pipe uh, tanks can now restore their pressure. I don't know what that means. Steam pipe tanks? Tanks? Tank? This is also new. I have no idea what this is. Valve? Valve? Control use regular frequency. I thought that's what that did. Steam tank 3 meters. What does this do? You can store more steam in this block than in steam pipe. Oh, so they're like a steam pipe, only bigger, and they store the steam for various uses of steam. Okay, I feel slightly less stupid now. These things are new! I swear, they... Damn it. They don't have, like, a visual icons yet. Like, when were these added? I don't remember them in the patch notes either. From the depths, developers, like... I am unobservant enough without you, like, ninja-ing new blocks, like, into the game, without me knowing. Not saying you should tell me, because, like, I don't know, don't reckon you owe me anything, but, like, I'm... I'm confused. And I keep finding stuff that's not there, and I fear the unknown, like most animals. Uh, where, where, where was I? Alright, uh, turbines flow half-life reverted from zero... Four five to zero point one seconds. Turbine flow half life. I don't know what that means either. Uh, the steam. Those of you who know how steam engines actually work, please explain this to me in the comments below, because I don't know. All right, and now there's a whole bunch of uh, fixes. So we're looking at alloy. And so there's an alloy beam. The height map for alloy has been fixed to stop one face from looking like it is moving. I never noticed that. APS railgun chargers can no longer connect to barrel magnets. Okay. Wait a minute. Let's 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 see that. Did they ever? Could they ever do that? Actually, you know what? So if we. Um, 
And railgun charge. Did I do that? Nope. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, so blocks. Uh, added code to locate the cause of a block disconnection bug. Which presumably is when uh, a block is removed and the other blocks don't act as if it's been removed. So, that's fixed, I guess. A fixed duplicating text in text block. Where's the text block? Text block. Text block. Text. Text screen, I guess. It's these ones. Uh, text displays. Alright, so I never noticed that either. Lucky me. Um, okay, custom jet fixes. Uh, custom jet generators are now also disabled underwater. Alright, that makes sense. Uh, custom jet generators now use the correct uh, amount of fuel uh, when supply is low. Custom jet uh, parts are no longer automatically rotated to match the controller's orientation. Um, fixed custom jet generator mode switch possibly not registering on being put into play. Jet controller tooltip now shows the correct thrust slash fuel value even when s uh, some output is reserved by a generator. So UI fix right there. Uh, propulsion fixed power props providing uh, forward thrust on... Oh, fixed power props providing forward thrust uh, on a backwards request. Alright, cool. I have run into that. That was annoying, I think. Um, I think yeah, actually that really um, uh, hurt uh, naval frontsiders, I believe. But speaking of, let's just spawn in something uh, for giggles in order to keep the peoples uh, entertained. So I believe I shared this on social media. This is the round thing. Isn't it adorable? Shall this be the thumbnail for absolutely no reason? Probably not. It'll mislead people. Uh, let's shoot at a marauder because, like, a marauder hasn't died for almost half an hour and it's no good. Alright, so... This seems to be working alright. Alright, what was I talking about? Uh, power jets, props, ions, and wheels now use the correctly scaled amount of power when running below their maximum loud output. Alright, so that's another fix. Uh, steam has a fix. Um, fixed bug that increased some pressures by a 101 kilopascals per upside down V. I did not write that well. Alright, it fixed a pressure bug. Uh, a fixed crankshaft fluctuation. Uh, steam components can no longer consume more energy slash steam than available in the shaft or pipe. That makes sense. And steam jet now constantly respects the maximum... Uh, excuse me. The maximum thrust and power consumption. Well, that's my last page of notes. This video is a lot shorter than I thought it would be. So, basically... No! I've... Well done, Borderwise. You have dramatically uh, chucked your... I've been chucking my notes over my shoulder this whole time, and now I need to look at them again. Alright. Let's see if I can recap just off the top of my head. APS has gotten some fun new stuff. Steam has gotten some fun new stuff. Custom Jets have gotten some fun new stuff. Shields are slightly less useless than they were. Uh, that's basically it. And a bunch of bug fixes. So yeah, that's... um, That is... From the depths, beta test 2.8.2.1. Probably more to come. How's the Marauder doing? Not great. God, I love this thing. Alright, so, um, yeah, that's basically it for this, uh, video. Um, uh, those of you who don't want to read the patch notes, um, uh, good. Like, alright, fine, you do whatever you like, it is your life. For those of you who do, the notes will be in the description as ever, and um, yeah, apologies to that one guy who was asking where the campaign videos are. Uh, I was going to do a stream today, but then this update came out, and I reckon I should probably talk about that instead. Maybe that was the wrong decision. Maybe it was the absolutely correct one. Maybe I just wanted an excuse to show up this round fella. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon if you like, it really helps. Thank you to all my current Patreon supporters, and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Uh, the beta test, or the not-so-beta test, we will have to see. Farewell.